Marcus Allen has long electrified the game he loves with spectacular performances, such as the one he turned in during Super Bowl 18. In just his second pro season, Allen secured his reputation as one of the NFL's premier running backs by rushing for 191 yards. Allen looks back on his entire performance as having a kind of mystical quality. That was the one time that I remember being in a zone if you can, if you can remember such a thing. I mean, I, everything was going absolutely right. I mean, it, the, the visualization of holes, uh, things were moving in slow motion, and I felt that I was, at least they were moving in slow motion, and I felt that I was at top speed at all time. It was really a, a strange thing, but uh, a wonderful thing, and I got it at the right time, and that was at the Super Bowl. He played one of the great Super Bowl games that have ever been played. And uh, he was a superstar then, a great, great player who will go down as one of the best running backs of his era. If ever a player embodied commitment to excellence, it was Marcus Allen. Marcus could run if he needed a runner. If he needed a blocker, he was not only a good, but he was a great blocker and then he was a good pass receiver. So if you wanted to run, you could keep him in there. If you needed a blocker, you could keep him in there. If you needed a pass receiver, you could keep him in there. Marcus Allen, as a wide receiver, was better than uh, anyone that could put in there. Got two touchdowns on me the first time he ever saw me, and I thought I had him covered. He was running beside me, and he looked like he was just gliding, and he started to separate from me. I've only gone into a locker room one time in my life to congratulate a guy on the other team for being the ball player that he was, and it was Marcus Allen. And uh, I walked over to the locker room and I told him, I said, I just want to tell you that I think you're one hell of a ball player. He's fearless. You can see that in the way he hits the hole because he hits the hole as hard as he can. I, that's the first attribute I look for in a running back is he really running into the hole as fast as he can get there because that's fearless. You have to not be wondering if it's going to be open. He has a very smooth gait. It's an easy stride and then he has great vision. He can see like peripherally, I think he sees completely down the line of scrimmage and he sees completely to his outside and he takes in all that information at one time. His running style avoids punishment. He rarely gets hit clean. Right at the last instant, we're talking about one hundredth of one second, he avoids the full shot, much like Muhammad Ali did. You can't really get a good hit on him. Because of that, he's been able to sustain himself. Marcus had the toughness of a Dick Buckus. But had the, the gracefulness of uh, Paul Warfield. He had the, the style of a, of a juice. He could give you the Gale Sayers. He could do anything that he wanted to do on the football field. And that's what made Marcus, to me, one of the greatest all-around athletes that ever played that position. When he got to Kansas City, it was the same old Marcus. I mean, he was just a guy who was out there, who was giving it all he had. And, uh, sweep right side, Marcus Big Ol' 30, 25. Cuts inside, got a block 20. Cuts across the other way, 15, 10. For the race to the five, running to the far sideline. He's got it, a touchdown! That first year that he was in Kansas City, he made the Pro Bowl. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable what this guy has done. He does it probably um, uh, prettier than ever, anyone else. When I see him play, I mean, you know, I just have to watch him because uh, what he does, um, it's not only effective, but it, it just looks good. The running backs for our team, we always watch all the other backs. During the game, you know, you watch Marcus Allen, you know, and we sit over there, he'll make a move, and everybody's like, he still got it, you know? It's, it doesn't seem like he's lost a step, you know, he's still doing it. I just hope I can, I'll be half that good when I'm his age. Even at age 35, Allen's skills near the goal line make him the man Marty Schottenheimer calls on when a tough touchdown is needed. Hey, let's go our best play with our best player. What do you, call? What do you think we call? I gotta know. Everybody in this place knows. They know. 
Allen and Richardson in the backfield. And off Marcus Allen, right side, touchdown! I always had felt before he became a Kansas City Chief and competing against him that he was the finest short yardage and goal line runner I had ever seen. An early snowfall provided a dramatic backdrop for Allen's 100th career rushing touchdown. On third down and goal to go, Marcus Allen dives on him for the touchdown for Kansas City, his 100th career rushing touchdown. And in the snow, the legends of Walter Payton, John Riggins, and Jim Brown wait for him. The only four men in the history of the National Football League to have 100 rushing touchdowns. I've always had, a, uh, I think, a tremendous desire to be um, different, not to be uh, an average player, to stand out from the crowd. And I've, uh, I think I've done everything that I possibly can to uh, see that that has happened. This unique athlete has soared above defenders and bobbed and weaved away from hard tackles. But the true mark of Marcus Allen's greatness is the way he has outrun the ravages of time.